Hey everyone, today we're going to check out a new mech and weapon. First, let's talk about the new mech called the Death Walker. This is a legendary tank mech with an energy capacity of 32 belonging to tier 9. Its HP, speed, and energy capacity are similar to the Blockhorn, but what sets it apart is its ability known as Reanimate. When you activate its ability, a point appears on the ground and the mech's speed increases by 60%. If the mech is destroyed, it will be teleported back to its activation point with 100% of the HP it had at the time of activation and a percentage of its total. Let's see how this works in detail. By default, this mech regenerates at a rate of 10%, but you can increase it to 20% with a legendary implant. So, if you activate your ability at full health and the enemy is able to destroy you while your ability is active, you will be teleported back with full HP. Keep in mind that it only regenerates HP mod and does not affect other mods. For example, if you activate your ability at 19.9k HP, it will regenerate up to 103.1k HP. You can find the calculations on your screen. Let's take a look at the implants of this mech. It has three implants and the HP restoration implant is only available in legendary form. Now, let's discuss how to use this mech. Once you activate your ability in a safe spot away from enemies, you will have 19 seconds if using a legendary duration implant to rush towards your enemies, deal damage, or capture beacons. If the enemy destroys your mech, you will be teleported back with full HP to the spawn point, sacrificing your mods except for the HP mod, as it will regenerate back. Weapons like Revokers and Storms work great on this mech, and you can also use sustained fire weapons. The main question is how to counter this mech. Keep in mind that the mech only teleports back if it is destroyed while its ability is active. If you don't completely destroy it and only do some damage, you can take advantage and easily finish it off. So far, the only mech that I think is going to be the best against it is the Hemlock, which can lock it in place, wait for its ability to cool down, and then destroy it. Or, you can try to attack only when its ability is on cooldown, which is 7 seconds if you are using a legendary cooldown. However, avoiding this mech on close maps is not going to be an easy task. I will cover it more and try it in customs once it becomes available on the live server to see how it performs. Overall, this mech is really strong and I will definitely recommend it. Now let's discuss the new weapon, the legendary Dreadshot. It's a 12 energy tier 7 heavy duty weapon with a perk called Heavy Hitter that deals a massive amount of damage to the target. When maxed, it has a 25% double damage chance and 3 available implants. However, after testing it on the test server, I feel that this weapon isn't performing as well as expected. It struggles against mods and its fire rate isn't as fast as other weapons like Minigans and Overdrivers. I tested it on mechs like Eclipse, Surge, and Orion, but it's hard to achieve a decent amount of kills against fully upgraded mechs with mods. In my opinion, this weapon has the potential to be strong, but it currently isn't dealing enough damage. I plan to compare it in detail against other weapons to see how it performs. That's all for today, please share your thoughts about this new mech and weapon in the comments. Take care and I will see you in the next one.